Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Artu Run. Now, in this session, we have uh, Takanori san, who is the uh, chairperson of uh, Takan Japan community, Python Japan community. And he's going to talk about the uh, automation, boring thing stuff with Slotboard. And before we start, let me re remind you again you can make use of uh, Slido to ask questions or make notes on the uh, HackND link we provide. You can find those links on our schedule page. So now, let's welcome Takanori san. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you for coming to my presentation. I am very happy to be able to talk at PyCon Taiwan this year. Uh, my talk title is Automate the Boring Stuff with Circobot Version 2. Um, I'm Takano Suzuki from Japan. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Pythonist in PyCon, Pythonist in Taiwan. Uh, today, I will talk about background and motivation for Slackbot and how to create a simple bot, simple bot, and how to create an interactive bot, and how to extend it bot using library and APIs. Uh, I'd be happy to take pictures and share, share them and give you feedback on Twitter X or some SNS. Uh, hashtag is SharpPyCon Taiwan. Uh, uh, PyCon Taiwan 2023. And I already published these slides on slide, slides.takanori.net, my site. And I've already shared slides URL on Twitter. Uh, it, this, this slides has a lot of code, so you can see codes on your PC if you want. Can I use this mic? This, this time, yeah? Check, check. Sorry. Okay, yeah, hi. Hi, uh, why, why budget to the, in the, in the title? Uh, the story goes back to 2019. Uh, I gave talks about Slackbot at several Python conferences, uh, including Taiwan, and then four, late, four years later. Now, uh, I've updated the talk with the latest information about Slack and libraries, and I'm, uh, uh, the, I've updated, and I'm happy to present in Taiwan after four years. And huge thanks to all the PyCon Taiwan staff and the volunteers. Thank you. By the way, your the main topic. Uh, I will introduce myself. I'm Takanori Suzuki. My Twitter is Takanori. Please follow me. I'm a chairperson of PyCon JP Association, and I'm a di director of Py Be Proud Inc. And my title is Python Climber. I am also active in several Python-related communities in Japan. This year, the PyCon Japan team will host uh, PyCon APAC in Tokyo. I hope to see you, you, in PyCon APAC. And let's go have a good beer in Tokyo. Now, back to the main topic. I will talk about the background and motivations. Uh, I held PyCon JP events several years in the past as a chairperson. As you can imagine, there are lots of tasks to hold a conference. For example, talk arrangement, ticket sales, and venue management, facilities, and food, and coffee, and snack, and beers. Beer is important for me. And the number of PyCon JP staffs is over 40. And half of them are new staffs every year. And new staffs ask me similar questions. How do this? Where is, where is this? And something. And I give similar answers repeatedly uh, several uh, new staffs. 
But programmer is lazy. You know, uh, programmers dislike routine work. I also dislike it very much. I'd like someone to be my secretary and do tedious tasks for me. I have an idea. Let's create a secretary for me because I'm a programmer. The goal of this talk, you learn how to create simple bot and how to create interactive bot as a secretary and uh, how to extend the bot using libraries and APIs uh, through various case studies. Uh, my secretary is a chatbot of Slack. Is there someone using Slack? Uh, almost 80. Or 70 percent. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I will launching the Slack application at any time on my on my PC and smartphone. So it's easy to access for me. I'd like to do everything in Slack. Let's make a chatbot. At the end of this talk, you will be able to create a bot like this. For example, the bot will greet and the counting. Uh, choose randomly and uh, count beers and uh, not okay. uh, appreciate counting and uh, such issues and something. First, I will explain simple integration with incoming webhooks. Uh, this is a system overview of incoming webhooks. When the program sends a, uh, send a message via webhook URL, then we have sent message to Slack. This is system overview. Great. Uh, first, we want the uh, uh, incoming webhooks. Uh, we create incoming webhooks integration. How to generate the webhook URL is as follows. First, create a Slack application and uh, then activate, activate incoming webhooks in the application and add, add webhooks to workspace. Uh, create an application, make a name, set a name, and set an application icon, and activate incoming webhooks, and uh, add a new webhook to workspace, and uh, authorized. At last, we got a webhook URL, hooks Slack com, blah, 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 blah. Then let's send a message to Slack with a URL. Then post a message via webhook URL. We send a simple message with Carl. Uh, when we send a message with JSON, hello Slack text, then, then message will be displayed in Slack. Hello Slack. But we are Pythonists. Uh, we use URL dot request module. This this code and the hello from Python. And if you like requests. Uh, we can use requests. It is easier to use requests to Slack bot, uh, Slack uh, simple webhooks. And I also recommend the Python Slack SDK provided uh, by Slack, Slack com company. This is easy. And the text can be formatted as Markdown, like a, a small, small subset Markdown. If you want to create a more complex message, uh, this is a the board and link, but if you want more create more complex message, use a block kit. Do you know block kit? Block kit is a new UI framework for Slack applications. Uh, this is an example block kit. Make the section and text 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 and the fields. Then the, this is a result. Uh, thank you for coming to my talk, and uh, please tell me good craft beer, beer bar in Taiwan. This is a real question. Okay, and and if you want to create a blockit code, blockit builder is useful for creating blocks. We can write blockit code interactively and see the result visuality. Use uh, some uh, select some option, uh, text on the field, then you got uh, blockit code, white right side. 
Okay, uh, summary of incoming webhooks. Easy to post message from programs and create complex message with WorkKit. But webhook is only one way, program to webhook to Slack. I'd like to interact with the bot. Next, I will explain how to make an interactive bot. Uh, Slack provides the two protocols for interacting, events API over HTTP and socket mode. This is system overview of events API over HTTP. Users send the message uh, will be events API and uh, events API direct uh, API and events API direct over HTTP or HTTPS. The protocol requires public static HTTP endpoint. Then I send the send the events to HTTP endpoint and the bot send a uh, reply message. On the other hand. Socket mode does not require static HTTP endpoint. Socket mode allows you to receive events APIs through a private web socket. I send a message and send the, the events through the web socket and the bot send the response message with via web socket. In this talk, I choose socket mode because it is easy to develop local, local PC. First, I want to create a bot user. I describe how to create an uh, interactive bot. At first, we create bot user on Slack. Uh, the step is five steps. Create a Slack application, enable socket mode, and subscribe bot event, and add bot token scopes, and install application to workspace. At last, invite bot user to your several Slack channels. Uh, this is same. Uh, this is the same uh, pr procedure of the create a Slack application, make Slack application, and uh, set the name and set application icon. Next, enable socket mode. Socket mode. Select the socket mode and turn on. And uh, enter token name. Generate. You got the up level token. This is important information. Next, you subscribe bot events. Uh, in this time, uh, I, I, add, uh, I added message channels to bot, to bot events and add bot token scopes, select all permissions and uh, add all scopes, and I added the uh, chat write bot token scopes. Then, step five, install application to workspace and authorized. At last, get the bot token. This is uh, important information, number two. Uh, I got, uh, I created the bot user, then invite the bot user to channels. Hmm. This procedure is long and complex. The steps are long and complex. Is there a better way? I recommend app manifest. App manifest, uh, manifest uh, YAML formatted configuration bundles for Slack application. We can share and reuse manifest by YAML format or JSON format. Example of app manifest. This app manifest is the same as the uh, previous procedure. And get app manifest in Slack application and copy code and create a new application with ma ma app manifest. Select from an app manifesto below, below uh, side and select workspace and enter app manifest YAML or JSON. And check the review application summary and click create. Then install application to workspace and get generate a private token. Mm. Short and reusable the steps. App manifest makes steps shorter and reusable. Now we are ready to start creating an interactive bot. Okay. Uh, wait a moment. Okay. 
Let's create a bot with Bolt. What is Bolt? Do you know Bolt? Bolt is a Python framework to build Slack application in a flash. Slack also provides Bolt for JavaScript and Java. But we are Python instead. We use uh, Bolt for Python. Install Bolt for Python. And make a VM and pp install. Slack Bolt. And this is a simple bot with Bolt, Bolt library. Uh, when the bot receives the string's high, high message, bot sends a greeting message. And I, I said the bot token and a pick up token. These are two important information. Set two tokens in environment variables, so then uh, environment variables. Then run app.py. When I write a message hi on Slack, the bot responds, hi, I'm Billbot. Okay? But this is simple enough. So I will exit the bot. App message decorator ex executes the function when it matches the pattern. First is high pattern, and the second is cheers pattern. I send hi, the beer bot respond, hi, I am beer bot. I send cheers, beer bot send cheers with beer, beer emoji, emoji, emoji. Do you know emoji? Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, next mention. The bot can send, send mention to users. Get the user ID and uh, Bracket, uh, bracket, no, uh, tri triangle, and, uh, and add user. It's a mention. And the bot can handle patterns, pa parameters. We use regular, regular expressions in app message decorator. Then you can extract match string from context, of context matches. You can get, I say, the choice uh, some text and the bot get the text from context matches uh, zero. Then I, I make the randomly choose bot. This is another regular expression pattern. I send the bot receives some numbers and beer or t text. I sent three, three T and so many beers. And B bot provide three T's and uh, 100 beers. Mm, happy. And bot can support block it. I sent a complex message. I, I make complex message and the bot can send. This is message and image. And bot can logging. Uh, if you want a logging to your bot, to make the logging logger and send log and uh, logging log it displayed in the in console. Okay. And events and scopes. Events and scopes are, in, are important concepts in Slack bots. Bot can only receive events in bot events. And bot can only execute APIs allowed by bot token scopes. For example, let's check the current bot events and the scopes. Bot events is messages, message dot channels. Only receive message in the uh, channel. And uh, bot scopes are channels history and the channel dot channel write only. Channel history means uh, View message in public channels only. And the chat write is a send post message to Slack channel. So the bot cannot read write message on private channels. I invited the bot to, to a private channel. This is private. Private channel and send a high message, but not, not response from, from bot. What should I do? 
I need to add events and scopes for private channels to bot. First, I added a message, dot, message groups event to bot, bot scopes. Oh, sorry, event, events to bot, bot events. And group history scope is automatically added. And I will reinstall the application because of the change in events and scopes of bot. As a result, the bot can read write message in private channel. If you want to know when a user joined a channel, add a message member joined channel event to bot events, then and restore application. Then you can handle the event with at app event decorator. Bot send a welcome message automatically. And if we want to add emoji reaction to message, add our reactions right scope add, and use reaction add method. Okay. Uh, summary of events and scopes. How to receive new events? How to use new API with new scopes for bot? You can add events and or scopes to bot and reinstall application. Then you can make the new, you can use new events or new APIs. Okay, oh, from here, I will create functions to solve these issues with various case studies. Case study one, calculate function using SymPy. Motivation, I feel heavy to call a calculator application on my smartphone. Where, where is calculator application? And it seems useful if struck as a calculator. System overview. I send one plus one, bot send two. This is calculator. I use a SymPy. SymPy is a Python library for symbolic, symbolic mathematics. Do you know SymPy? Mm -hmm. This is a cal calculator function using SymPy. Uh, bot receives uh, some formula-like strings and uh, uh, SymPy simplify the formula, then the convert integer or float values. Oh, suck as a my calculator. I send one plus one, bot send two, and I send uh, 333 slash 106 as a 3.1. Very nice. Next case study. Plus plus future feature using PV or mapper. Uh, motivation. In PyCon JP team, I want to make a culture that appreciates each other stuff. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your helping and a plus plus, send a plus plus message. This is system overview. I send the, the Takanori plus plus message, then the bot count plus one. Uh, and I use a PWI. PWI is a simple and small OR mapper, object relation mapper. Uh, PWI is a small and uh, expressive OR mapper, and the PWI supports the CSQLite, MySQL, and PostgreSQL. PIP install. And this is a model of the plus plus. Uh, plus plus model has uh, one as a name, name string, and the count, count integer value. Okay, and this is plus plus function using PV or mapper. They who send the word plus plus message, then counting, count up, and respond the count. This is result. I send the PyCon Taiwan plus plus and I find count one and count two. I send PyCon Taiwan 20, 23 stuff, plus plus count. Count one. Yeah, I can appreciate it. Next case study. Such issues with Jira APIs. 
Motivation. Jira is very useful. And the PyCon JP team use the Jira for task management. But Jira web is slow. Uh, you know, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want to search issues without Jira webs, web. This is system overview. I send some search keyword and uh, bot search issues with the Jira REST API and uh, bot send the result of Jira issues. I use Python Jira. Python Jira works with the, with the Jira APIs, a pip install Jira, and this is authentication with tokens, and this is a search issues code. I send some keyword and make a jQuery, jQuery is a Jira query language, and get some re results of issues and send a message. Uh, I send the Jira PyCon APAC where the result is uh, this, these issues. Oh, free from Jira web because Jira web is slow. I'm so happy. Next case study. Create multiple issues from a template. Motivation. In Python camp event, we had uh, the several events and uh, each event need uh, 20 plus issues uh, required for each event. And Copying issues by hand, by hand, by hand is uh, so painful because a uh, uh, programmer is lazy. Uh, and Jira web is slow. This is system overview. I send a uh, create Jira issue, then uh, bot get the issue template from spreadsheet, and then uh, bot create uh, multiple issues with Jira REST API. Okay, uh, Google authorization is complex. But time is not enough. I, I skip this talk, uh, this, this sentence. Please check later. Uh, I make the authorization with Google, uh, uh, Google, for Google API, Spreadsheets API. And this is sample of uh, issue template, and the title, and the due date, and the uh, description. This is a get to spreadsheet data from Spreadsheets. This code and the bot can get the spreadsheets data. Mm, nice. Then I create the Jira issues with Jira REST API from template, make the issue dictionary, and then make, then make the issues. Oh, the bot can make those issues from template. I'm so happy, free from copying issues by hand. Last case study, account management of Google Workspace. Motivation, PyCon JP Association use PyCon JP domain with Google Workspace for mail address. I only use Google Admin Web occasionally. I forgot to use Admin screen. Where is the user, where is the groups? Okay, I send the message user list and the bot send get the user information from the directory API, then they make uh, bot and update Google authorization for the directory directory API. Make new token.js. And this is a code of get user list. Get the some code, this code, then you get the top 10 users. User list sent and I get the user list. Mm, nice. And this is add user, user name, password, and uh, given name, family, given name, family name, and make a body of the user information. Then uh, I create bot create a user. Mm, nice. I can forget Google Admin, but there is a security issue with this code. It means anyone can list and add users. So, modify commands to run only for the Slack admins. Uh, I add a read, a users read scope to bot, and I use users.info API. Then I get the check, uh, the bot check the, this user is admin or not admin. If the not admin send the user list, bot is, uh, you are not admin. Oh, I resolved a security issue. I'm happy. Summary of this talk. Uh, you 
I think you know the simple bot using in, uh, incoming webhooks and interactive bot using a uh, bot for Python and Xint bot using the uh, Python libraries and APIs. Next step, let's make your Slack bot. Let's connect with libraries and APIs and automate your boring stuff with Slack, your Slack bot. Then you will have more time, free time so you can do other creative things more. I hope. Thank you. Go say, Jari got over the master. Tsuki, a token of Pycon impact. I must show this is a translate command with deep prayer. Thank you for your attention. I look forward to seeing you at Pycon impact in Tokyo, Japan. Thank you. Thank you. And now, let's see what questions. Uh, from you for Takanori san. Yep. The first is uh, one of you asked, uh, you mentioned PV as an ORN. Can you please have small compassion with school academy when PV in your use case? Ah, yeah, I see. Uh, you, uh, the question is uh, why use uh, PV and uh, yeah. uh, if you, uh, if the question I uh, use and the useful for SQL Academy, SQL Academy is good for you. But I, I'm rest, uh, rest uh, to know the SQL Academy because I choose this uh, this time the PV. But SQL Academy have provided a migration with Alembic, and SQL Academy good for you, I think. Thank you. And next up is. Uh, slot message did not support table. Any idea to display a table by using a plot? Okay, 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 okay. Nice question. Uh, first is, uh, uh, first to recommend is uh, use a block kit with a table-like field or something. And second, second suggest is uh, you can send a CSV file to with the file. If you send a file to uh, file to uh, CSV file to Slack. Uh, Slack displayed a table like uh, message. Thank you. And next question is from Peacock. Uh, he or she ask, what is the best way to view uh, multi function with uh, app decorator? What is the recommended? Uh, recommend uh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, Peacock is asked the question. To, if you want to create the so many uh, so many functions and, uh, in the flat file is uh, so uh, the complex and not re reading, I, I think. Uh, the, uh, please check the my uh, peacock. You know the, I please check the my my made the, the uh, Takanori uh, GitHub GitHub com Takanori huh? Oh no 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 GitHub Python JP Slackbot two repository and uh, I divide uh, some functions uh, each, uh, each modules and the uh, main module import it and the main module uh, in, uh, uh, add to, ah, uh, sorry, I forgot, wait a moment. I'm oh, sorry. Uh, this is no time. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, okay, um, uh, we have another question from Peacock. Can you rewrite YAMLs for events permission scope? Ah, uh, yeah, it's sure. Yeah, you sure. You can write uh, YAMLs for event and permission scopes. This is uh, useful. But uh, you, uh, I think that you make uh, by hand is difficult. Uh, first step is a uh, check, check, check. And uh, after that, you can get the uh, YAML or JSON from the from Slack application menu. And the next one is uh, for Slack event API over HTTP and WebSaki. Um, why prefer WebSaki over HTTP? Ah, why prefer? I think that because uh, this time I develop on the, my PC in my in my bot. Uh, my PC don't have public HTTP endpoint. If you want, you use the uh, Englock or something. 
but uh, it is uh, not difficult, but not even now. Uh, but I think the I think wave socket is uh, the uh, useful for the local PC development. But uh, if you develop, deploy to the, your bot in public server, uh, you can choose the uh, static endpoint. And uh, since we are really running out of time, I want to open the last slide. Anyone, if in case any of you cannot use uh, Slido, anyone of you want to ask question for Sang Lui San? You can use microphone in front of you. Anyone? No, no question. Okay, so before we end this session, I want to remind you it's already lunch time. So just go upstairs and take your lunch bags. So now let's thank you, Takanoisa, again. Thank you.